Hello guys, this is the mysterious Mr. Enter in the flesh. Yes, this is what I look like in real life, and it's time to get a little less mysterious. The first thing you have to know is that Jonathan Enter is a pseudonym. My real name is Jonathan Rosansky. Rosansky is my actual surname. Why did I come up with this pseudonym? Uh basically for privacy reasons, and as I continue, that's, well, that's pretty much impossible at this point. No matter how hard you try to keep yourself a secret, uh, people will find out. But more importantly, I don't think I need to hide behind a fake name or anything anymore. I'm still going to use Mr. Enter as my reviewing, as general thing. You've gone by it so long, you're going to keep going by it. And I plan to keep going by it, but... Um, right now I'm talking without a script to a webcam. This is a new experience for me, and it's not going to happen often. For one, this webcam is shit. Uh, I have to use Audacity to match up the audio. And I'm talking without a script. All I got is a few bullet points right there that I'm looking at. But what you need to know, let's tie this into my advice on trolls. I did conflate uh, trolls and I guess you can call them haters. You know, people who don't dis... People who dislike you for no valid reason. Uh, because... There really isn't any need to distinguish them. They should be treated the same way, and you shouldn't listen to either of them. But if you're afraid of any aspect of yourself, they will use it against you, and uh, if you own yourself, it's not going to happen. They can't use it against you. Wear it like armor. This is who I am. This is what I look like. You know my real name, and I'm not ashamed of it. But, I guess, why was I ever ashamed or afraid in the first place? Well, a lot of stuff in the past uh, never really panned out. I mean, I've gone into a lot of different fields, I've tried a lot of different shit, and uh, I've never been pretty good. I mean, I do tend to lose interest a lot, but uh, beyond that, there's always like a point that stops me in my tracks. And with this reviewing stuff, I've never even hit. I mean, I've gone through Ren Seek's help, I've reviewed huge movies, and I feel like I can actually do anything in this field. And I really can't thank you guys enough for that. I mean, at the last time I've looked, I'm at like 38,000 subscribers. That, that... You want to know how huge of an achievement that is? Like, last year, or the year before, or whatever, on my bucket list, I put, uh... Actually, back when I was a Let's Player, on my bucket list, yes, I have one of those, uh, I put make or get 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. And <laughs> that that is just so funny to me now. But uh, even that wouldn't be how shocking it is. Like, on a DeviantArt journal, like, June 6th, I think, for the anniversary of uh, Animated Atrocities, I wrote down uh, that I had 19,000 subscribers at the time, which means that I got 20,000 subscribers um, in less than two months. Well, in two months, I more than doubled my subscriber count, and that is just... That is just... Well, it's definitely a major boost to the self-confidence, I'll tell you that. Uh... I 
can't thank you guys enough. Uh, like I said, things like this, they're definitely best done in person. Um, as you've known, there's, as I've hinted to at least, there's a lot of personal stress going on in the background. Uh, it's not me, it's family issues. I would like to tell you, but uh, I respect people's privacy. And uh, it's not important. Just know that there's changes and dynamics going around. It's hard for me to find time to record, that kind of stuff. I will get that top 25 SpongeBob episodes out on Tuesday. Wednesday at the absolute latest, but I will pull all-nighters if I have to to get it out on Tuesday. I, on my honor, script's all written, I'm in the middle of recording it, I'm going to start recording some audio later today, and then just match it up to the footage. Matching things up to the footage is the most tedious part, but the easiest. I don't, I, I don't know, what's taking it so long, I guess, uh, Sometimes it's just really hard to talk about some of these episodes beyond them being really solid. I mean, sp I'm going to spoil some of it. Uh, one of the things that did make them my favorites was that they didn't do really heinous things. And I didn't want it to be like the uh, Sandcastles in the Sand Review where I was, well, not the most tactile. But, I'll be honest, a lot of these episodes are my favorite because they didn't take some heinous act. And, I try to keep as few of those as possible on the list, but, you know, it's impossible. And I do want to thank the Nick fans and the Spongebob fans in particular for being so tolerant with me. Like, I mean, I know I've actually had to call out a couple of... The more, let's call them loud, uh, people. I know that they're the except. I know that they're the exception. If they weren't the exception, I'd be run off the internet a long time ago. They're crazies with no sense of tact. And I love it how they use Asperger's syndrome in order to cover up their asshole acts. Having Asperger's syndrome does not make you an asshole. And stop using it as such. It makes everyone look bad. It really, really does. I should know. I have Asperger's Syndrome. And I managed to not be an asshole. And if I failed at not managing to be an asshole, I still have to own up to it. They're my actions. I own them. Just like I own every piece of my being. Yes. Another reason why I'm not going to do this camera thing very often is because, uh... Because I'm not confident in my acting ability. I could do whatever I want my voice. My body, it's, it's a little bit different. I'll only do it when I absolutely have to, which is... Um... Once in the future, maybe? That's coming up. And I am really hot right now because I am wearing a hoodie in August. And whatever. I, I'm, I'm a weird person. I'll tell you that right now. I'm weird. But... I guess I'm just rambling off the top of my head. You know... There's no need for me to keep secrets anymore. I'll tell you that right now. I mean, I'm still going to use John Enter as an online pseudonym. Growing Around is still in that name. And, you know, in the writing world, it's okay to have pseudonyms, even if everybody knows your name. I mean, I can name three authors with pseudonyms. Uh, J.K. Rowling, Stephen King, and R.L. Stein. They all wrote books under pseudonyms. Yay. Uh, I'm not good at improv. I'm really not. But 
let's just say that I have been having a lot of personal stress lately. A lot of it is with the trolls, but honestly, what they sometimes do is take one little thing out of context that I've said and use it to shout to each other that I've like an idiot. Like, I take a joke and they take it extremely literally because only one of them watched the video. It, it, it's it's absolutely hilarious. I don't even have to pay for the circus anymore. But beyond that, uh, the stuff that I've been doing has been so stressful that I've actually been doing harsher and harsher things to review, like Mega Babies and Ren Seek's Health back to back. That was to keep my mind off my real life. Uh, but things are cooling down. Um, I should say I'm getting used to the water. If that metaphor makes any sense. So, uh, like I said before, I just want to take this time out to thank you guys for bearing with me. I'm almost at 40,000 subscribers. It, 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 it is awesome. Like, Things that would have devastated me as before I started no longer really affect me. Like, well, for one, the trolls, they're absolutely hilarious because they think they have a point. Oh yeah, my troll video, I kind of conflated trolls and haters. Um, if a hater hates on you for your opinion not for your facts or for something you can't control. They fall into the hate dumb category if you look on TV tropes. There really is no use to, there really is no use in separating them. There really isn't. Uh, I lost my train of thought. But yes, I, I I back to the back to what I remember talking about. I do want to thank you guys. A lot. This. Oh yeah. Uh, what would have devastated me earlier in my life really doesn't even affect me anymore. I mean, I didn't make it on Channel Awesome. Like, I'm taking that completely in stride. There are better people than me, on, and that is just <laughs> absolutely fair, I guess. I heard Rebel Taxi got on. The one person I'm actually disappointed who didn't get on is Cinematic Extrament. Check him out if you haven't. Uh, he definitely has the quality to be on there. Uh, I don't even know if he uh, applied though, but he de he definitely deserves to uh, be on Channel Awesome. And if they give an addition again, I'll run again, and maybe I'll make it, maybe I won't. I'll just keep bettering myself and bettering myself. And maybe by that point, I'll have a decent editing program. But yes, you guys have helped me become a stronger person. I'm no longer afraid of my real self, who I am. I, you know that old man talking in the Mega Babies review? A lot of people said that was kind of pointless. Uh, that was for me more than for anyone else. I, I was under... A lot of stress. A lot of stress. But, you know, it's cooling down. I'm working a lot on growing around, and... Oh yeah, I actually wrote a second episode, which you guys should check out on my DeviantArt page. Like, people keep wondering what's going to happen with it. Well, first of all, number one, it is totally legal. Just, yeah... We uh, morphed an idea. We it's I guess you could call it a spiritual successor to the Shorty Mc Short Shorts Short flip flopped. Uh, it is a spiritual successor at best. Two, we're making the storyboard or the animatic. It depends what you want to call it. Three, we're looking for voice actors at the moment. Uh, we already have. We, we really got one we can consider for Sally and one we can consider for Timmy. Like, 
We got a few Roberts that might make it. And uh, absolutely no one has auditioned for Linda. And uh, Kathy is Kathy. She'll be a recurring character, but not a main character, a secondary character. And what's going to happen with that? I actually want to get it on television. Like, an actual television cartoon. I mean... I'm actually going to pitch it to studios. Nickelodeon... Not Nickelodeon, I'll put it on the internet before Nickelodeon. Cartoon Network, Disney... The Hub. Cartoon Network seems like the best uh, option because Disney Channel has... Well, they do weird things with their really good shows. Like, there's a large chance it'll just disappear into nothing like The Replacements or Day of the Barbarian. I mean, if I'm lucky, it might be as good as... It might be as popular as Phineas and Ferb. But... And The Hub has a large chance of being overshadowed by you-know-what. As for Cartoon Network... They give anything a chance, and they treat everything equally, strangely enough. Yes, Cartoon Network actually seems to have the practices that I respect the most. Even though, yes, as I revealed in my modifiers review, they still have problems. Every network has problems. Some more so than others. Nick... I warned you, and yet you're still doing stupid things. Like, I, I talked with a friend, like, there's actually a reason for people to actually do stupid sabotage for a reason. Like, in a company, if you're an executive, getting fired can actually be positive for you. Uh, if you do damaging things and actually get fired, you get golden parachutes, uh, a sizable bonus, something to send you on your way. And that's what they're after rather, th rather than a fair pay. And I'm fairly sure that plenty of people like that are working at Nickelodeon. Uh, who knows what's going to happen. I'll definitely be there to document it at least. And I will see you soon. You won't be... S like I said, I'm not, I'm not good at uh, talking off the top of my head. And I'm... I think I'm getting heat problems because I'm, like, I'm wearing a hoodie in August. Hey, part of the costume. Have to suffer from your art. Suffer from your art. Suffer for your art. You don't have to suffer from your art. Don't. No matter what anyone says, don't suffer from your art. Be proud of what you made. Even if it's the worst piece of shit you possibly made. If you realize that it's a piece of shit, and you're working to get better than that piece of shit, you're, you're well on your way to getting better. And I will see you next time. I already said that. Well, this is getting long-winded. I'll see you later.